now how can we create a cross section of a nanoparticle so simply duplicate this nanoparticle shift d and move to one side go to edit mode press tab and go to side view here you can see view and viewpoint and select front now you can see the nanoparticle from one side so to move the entire screen down you can see an hand icon here click on that and hold the mouse and you can move it down and zoom in using scroll wheel now we need to select this selection tool and select one by fourth of the atom like this make sure that the top vertex point is not selected and also all the point above this midline and also to the right of this midline is selected just like that now if you look around you can see only this much is selected that is because we have to switch to wireframe mode and do the process again view viewpoint front and now if you select the point behind these points also will be selected you can see and there one by fourth of the mesh is in selection press so now let's delete press x and select vertices now we have deleted one by fourth of the sphere we need to close this mesh to create the perfect cross section if you simply go back to object properties you can see that it is not coming out well it is forming some defect so to fix that select this nanoparticle and go back to edit mode select this vertex point here and hold shift key and select this vertex point and press F so that both of them will be connected so that we can create a face like this and also a face like this now select this vertex point and hold alt and select this vertex point now the entire vertex point in this boundary will be selected now to create a face to close this press F now you can see we have a new face now if you go back to object mode pressed by pressing tab we have a cross section in this particular example you can see we have a coating around the nanoparticle this green part is a coating for the nanoparticle inside how can we show coating for a nanoparticle right so in quantum dots we create core shell nanoparticles how can we create that now select this nanoparticle and duplicate shift D and move to one side make sure only this nanoparticle is selected and go to edit mode press tab to make it clear for you I will delete this particle system on this nanoparticle go to particle properties and click on this minus icon so that particle system will be deleted now we have left with only the template geometry so go to edit mode press tab and select this face in face select mode and press X and delete by clicking on faces do that for this face as well press X faces now we have a hollow shell we need some thickness for this so go to modifier tab here we need to add a modifier called soldify modifier so that this hollow shell will have some thickness and increase the thickness here and now we need to arrange the scale in such a way that this sphere comes as a covering for the other nanoparticle hold it at the same place and increase the scale press s and increase the scale like this if you want to reduce the thickness for this you can do that by decreasing the thickness like this and scale it down like that as well alright so now to convert this into atoms instead of this uh, solid coating apply this modifier first one thing you should keep in mind once we apply the modifier we will not be able to increase or dec decrease the thickness so if you are happy with this thickness go to modifier properties click on this drop down menu and click apply now this is an mesh now we need to create a new particle system which will create the shell click on this plus icon and click on this drop down menu and use this particle settings now we have a shell but it is not visible because we have same atoms for shell as well as the core we need to replace all the atoms for the shell for that what we can do select this main atom and duplicate it by pressing shift D and add a new material for this one go to material properties click on this icon so that the material for this sphere will be considered as a new material and change the color 
like that maybe purple so now we have atom for the shell so let's move that nearby our main nanoparticle here now select this shell go to particle properties we want to create a new particle system for this right so if you make any changes for this that also will be applied to the core as well for example if you increase the scale you can see that all atoms are changing in its size so to consider the particle system for this shell as a separate one simply click on this icon new particle settings now you can see that the name of the particle system is changed it is a 004 now if you make any changes to the shell it won't affect the core for example increase the scale you can see that core is remaining same go under render change this render as from collection to object and change this instance object remove the previous one click on this cross icon and you can see eyedropper tool select on that and select on this new atom voila that's it we have a core shell nanoparticle just like that now if you look closely we have some separation between atoms in the shell to remove that select on this shell and increase the resolution so that we have more atoms and less space between the atoms that's it we have a core shell nanoparticle i hope you learned how to create different kinds of nanoparticles you can use the same techniques for creating almost any kinds of particles one more point i would like to add if you see this cubic nanoparticle you can see how nanoparticles are arranged one atom is placed on exactly on top of other so it is a a a a you can change that distribution to a b a b by clicking on this hexagonal grid now you can see the distribution of atom is different we have one atom here and the next atom is in the junction of these two just like that a b a b kind of close packing okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial this far i hope you learned so many things about particle system and how to create nanoparticles how to create core shell nanoparticle how to create nanoparticles with different different geometry this will be very useful for anyone who are studying different kinds of nanoparticles and its morphology see you in the next video